Hello and welcome to the Daily Vision Bible. I'm Robbie Yates. Well, we get to open the second door of an Advent calendar today. I wonder what the reading is going to be. Matthew chapter 1 verse 20. I wonder what it says. Remember that today's reading will show how Jesus fulfilled the prophecy that was given yesterday in Genesis chapter 3 verse 15. But when he thought about these things, look, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream, saying, Joseph, son of David, don't be afraid to take to yourself Mary, your wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Spirit. Jesus was born of a woman, which might not be so surprising since all children are born from women. But considering this is Jesus, he could have come to earth any way he chose. Jesus chose to be born as a human, and thus fulfilled the prophecy that the descendant of Eve would be the enemy of the serpent. It's Numbers chapter 17 today. Let us open God's word of prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your word, that you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people say and hear your word, they come to a better understanding of you. Amen. Numbers chapter 17 Yahweh always spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the children of Israel. And take cards from them, one for each father's house. Of all the princes, according to their father's houses, twelve rods. Write each man's name on his rod. You shall write Aaron's name on the rod of Levi. For there shall be one rod for each man of their father's houses. You shall lay them up in the tent of meeting, before the testimony where I meet with you. It shall happen that the rod of the man whom I shall choose shall put. I will make the memories of the children of Israel, which they remember against you, cease from me. Moses spoke to the children of Israel, and all the princes gave him rods. For each prince one, according to the father's houses, even twelve rods. Aaron's rod was among their rods. Moses laid up the rods before Yahweh in the tent of the testimony. On the next day, Moses went in to the tent of the testimony, and he saw Aaron's rod for the house of Levi had sprouted, budded, produced blossoms, bore ripe almonds. Mo- Moses brought out all the rods from before Yahweh, to all the children of Israel. They looked, and each man took his rod. He always said to Moses, Put back the rod of Aaron before the testimony, to be kept for a token against the children of rebellion, that you may make an end of their murmurings against me, that they not die. Moses did so. As Yahweh commanded him, so he did. The children of Israel spoke to Moses, saying, Look, we perish. We are undone. We are all undone. Everyone who keeps approaching Yahweh's tabernacle dies, or we all perish.